Hey guys and welcome back to new on this channel. I'm Sabi from Contribution. So today I will teach you once again how to improve the scraping quality of Crawlomatic. So I will use this example page for uh, scraping. So I will get the contents of this page and I will show you how to keep also the styling of the pages. So in this video I will talk about scraping content with Crawlomatic and also keeping the styling of pages. So I will link Crawlomatic in this video description. If you haven't heard of it, go ahead and check it. So I will set up a small scraping rule for this example page. So only basic scraping here. I create a basic scraping rule for this page. I go down here to the bottom and content query type. I select visual selector. I go ahead and highlight the entire content that I want to scrape like this. Click and I can save settings now. Let's check the front page of my site here. It's empty and let's run scraping and it's already finished. And here it is, the matcha appeared. So we can strip images also to not make duplicate images. And check this checkbox. Just this is not for this tutorial sake, just for our visual pleasing. So here it is. Okay, so as you can see, the button here will not have this styling. So this button will not have this styling. The green part here will not be like green. So here it is. It's not green. Okay. So what you can do to fix this and to get also the styling. So you have two options. The first option is the hardcore one. So let me show you the first option. So click settings and search for CSS and check the also get found CSS files content. Save settings. So if you know the styling of the page is kept in CSS files separate from the crawled content in most cases. So because of this, you can instruct the plugin to take also the CSS files for scraping. However, this might be hardcore on your site and let me show you why. I deleted the old post and uh, it's disappeared, it disappeared and let's run scraping again and let's refresh our site. So you will see that the aspect of our site has changed. However, the page here is containing also the correct CSS for this for this green little part and all other parts are now displaying correctly. However, our page got narrower. So this is because the page here, the source page is also like in this narrow format. So yeah, this means that the plugin takes each and every CSS file it finds on the source page and adds it in bulk also to our page. So you can try this out, but if it is not working for you, I will show you a second method that will for surely work. So I deleted the post that I scraped and here now the page reverted to its original form. So let's uncheck the CSS scraping checkbox. And let's go ahead and scrape the post again as it is without any CSS, additional CSS. So now let's go to the source page here and click inspect on our little button that we wish to get. And uh, if we check here on the right side of my page here, we will see the CSS that actually you will see some colors and some other margin padding position. And if you uncheck this, you will see that this button will change. So we can uncheck this and we can see that the button will change its styling. So if you want to grab the styling also without the option that is hardcore on your site from Crawlomatic, you will have to manually copy this 
lines from CSS and add them to your website in the t appearance, customize and in most teams you will have here initial CSS. So let's delete this part because it is useless, it is from my previous testing and simply go ahead and grab everything that you see here. So you can see like this for example until here. So now let's copy all declarations or simply hit copy to make sure that you copy it correctly and here you can hit paste. So now you will see if you open up here a post you will see that with this CSS added we will get closer to what we had on the source page. If you want also more you can go ahead and copy more like this until here for example you can go more and more. So hit copy paste and as you can see things change now. So we can scroll even more and search for more CSS. So button before here we have also some more CSS we can use and simply paste it there and the button should work and should turn the color and styling that you need. So if you copy everything that you see here the styling of the button should be correct. Also if this is not working you can go up a level so you can see that these are in this so this is included in the paragraph from here which is represented from by a P and you can also add also these CSS stylings. So yeah, now to go ahead and uh, copy this part so hit inspect once again and on the CTA text simply go ahead and copy all these parts so until here it should be okay so copy and paste it to the end and you will see that the green appeared with the red um, links appearing correctly so hit publish and now if we refresh our site the CSS is appearing correctly also with full width page and not with only half with page as before like uh, when the plugin scraped all the CSS files from the source. So yeah I hope this info helped and go ahead and play with this copy the CSS files if you need also the styling from the page or go ahead and test the also get found CSS files feature of Crawlomatic as this might also help be helpful in your case because if you get lucky your team will not uh, get uh, messed up by the CSS files which were scraped from the source uh, page. So yeah this is all for today if you enjoyed this content subscribe to this channel like comment share it is really really appreciated and leave a uh, I will leave also Crawlomatic in this video description. I hope this uh, video was helpful. Until next time, bye bye.